Located just 30 minutes outside of La Paz, Playa Mortitos offers a remote setting with incredible views. The unpaved road keeps many from coming down to this beautiful spot, but once you arrive, it's well worth it. Today, I'm going to be paddling out to two small islands, going for a snorkel, and then paddling over to a sunken ship. So, let's head out there. Alright, so I made it out to this first smaller island out here. And as you're probably here, this is actually home to an adult sea lion. Or really, a retired sea lion. Typically there's only one or two males out here at a time. The rest of sea lions are actually located at another small island on the other side of La Paz. But this location is actually known more or less as a retirement home for these guys. They're simply too old to compete with the younger males for the females. And so usually during breeding times when there's a lot of competition going on, this guy will come over here and hang out, enjoy this private island to himself, and enjoy that retired life. All right, so I'm gonna paddle a little bit closer for you guys now to see if we can get a better shot of him. Sometimes he's camera shy, so we'll see what happens. All right, I don't wanna get much closer than this because I don't wanna disturb him too much. But it's this big guy right here in this middle on this lower rock, so hopefully you can see him in the camera. Just chilling out, enjoying some sun, and enjoying the day. But man, is the water gorgeous around here. I hope there's a better angle for you guys to see him over there. So this smaller island also has really good scuba diving when the water's clear. On this one side where I'm at currently, there's some deeper crevasses between some rocks and some boulders. And from what I've heard, I haven't personally done it, but from what I heard, it's next level scuba diving right here. All right, so now I'm gonna head over to this larger island located right over here, pretty close by. Go check it out, do some snorkeling, and see what we can see. Adios, Grandpa. Enjoy your day. So as I was saying, this larger island it actually is an incredible place to do snorkel or scuba diving. To go around the whole island swimming, it takes about roughly 30 minutes more or less just to do a, a chill snorkel around the entire thing. The reason this island is so great to do snorkeling is because all around the island has different depths, different sized rocks, different sized boulders, coral, and all kinds of fish. This spot is also very popular for kayakers as they can come out here, they can anchor their, their kayaks right over here in the sandy spot or there's a really tiny beach on the one corner of the island here that they can pull their kayaks onto just to store while they're snorkeling or scuba diving. What I love about this location though is that it's so remote. Literally the only people who live here are some fishermen on the corner of this beach over here and that's it, there's no one else. But saying that I'm surprised because today is the first time I've ever seen a small yacht anchored out here. Because typically there's no one out here. All right, but enough talking. I'm so ready to get in the water, ready to do some snorkeling and see all the sea life around here. Let's get in. How good was that? Whew, all right, finally got all my sun gear back on again. I'd probably say today was 50-50 eh, in terms of clarity in the water. It wasn't the best day, but also wasn't the worst day. So now I'm gonna show you guys one more really cool location, which is actually a sunken ship located just down the beach here. So if you paddle over that way, let's go check it out. Ooh, we have made it. I'm just now pulling up to the shipwreck located just right here in front of me. I don't know the full story on how this ship actually got here. All I know is it's been here for many, many years. Because all you can really see is what's what left of what I believe is the engine block and then basically just the ribs of the boat. But it's a really cool location to come out and paddle to, to paddle around. Also really good to snorkel because lots of fish, also because of all the 
coral and things that I've built around the boat over the years. But man, just another epic, incredible location to paddle to here at Playa Mortitos. Man, I'd love to stay here and continue to paddle and explore more down the coastline, but the temperatures are rising, it's getting hot, it's probably pushing 100 degrees right now, so I'm gonna paddle back to my truck and head back in town. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's little excursion. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Go check out the channel for more paddleboarding content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hasta luego, amigos.